Blackhawks investigation came to an end yesterday, and Stan Bowman, the GM, is already out. Uh, possibly speaking, Joel Quenville is going to be out. And I know I already had one of the comments about this before. Phil, take it over. Um, how do you just summarize all this? A complete unmitigated disaster. Just, I I don't understand how this got to this point. I, I, I really, I, I mean, I know that the facts are out there now. The investigation's ended, but I just a complete miscarriage of justice. Um, just a, 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 an utter travesty. I I don't understand why they thought covering anything up would really help them. Um, there were obviously things reported back then. Um, what's being done is not enough. It's like like Anthony is saying here, a, a, a two million dollar fine is not enough. Um, that's not, Arizona lost draft picks for what they did, and what they did was a far less serious offense than what's been going on here, which is a criminal offense. Which which goes this transcends the NHL. This this is more than about hockey, uh, and I agree. Quenville needs to be he needs to be let go for what his comments were about it and how he said they they could not handle this issue right now. I lost I, a lot of respect for Joel Quenville. I I think I think it's a disgrace that he's even going to be behind the bench tonight with with yep. Florida. I mean, I know Holy I know I know they said he has a meeting with uh with Bettman uh, to, I think Thursday, yeah, tomorrow. Um they said who knows we'll see what comes of it, but I mean, I I don't see how after everything that came to light the other day how he could coach. I mean, do the right the Bowman stepped aside, he stepped down, stepped down from the, you know, USA Olympic team position. Um, Quenville, you know, Quenville needs to do the same and, and Shevel Deos not. You, you shouldn't know, have been given the option here. to step down. Well, he, yes. At the, but I was talking about the very least. I mean, no, I, I, least, I understand. I, I, I'm just making you know, a point there in the fact yeah. that he, he shouldn't have been given an option to step down. He should yeah. have been fired and, and that should have been it. And you know what? It's not like these are allegations that are unfounded. Like if, yeah. if it's allegations that are unfounded and they're still pending investigation, then at that point, you can suspend indefinitely and then you know if you wanted to step down then at that point that would yeah. it would be like a minutes of guilt basically but he should have been fired flat out yeah. and, and brad aldrich you deserve to rot in jail for the rest of your damn life yeah. and shovel shovel day is involved in this too he has a meeting with batman as well yep um later this week so we'll see what comes of that too but um i know duncan keith today said that you know he said some players weren't aware of it. He said, some, you know, some were, but he said there were some players that weren't aware of any of it going on. Um, you know, he expressed how, you know, how sad of a situation it was. And it is. I mean, it's it's terrible. And, you know, you, you question their leadership group, um, you know, on, I, even on the ice. I don't I see that. Co- you see that comment right there. But we don't know. Was Taves was Taves aware of it? We yeah, don't know. That's, yeah, that's that's that's, that's a question. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't you know. know. We're, but, we're you, you know, we were talking about this in our group chat, and how is there an adequate way to suspend any of these people, find them? What is the r- right amount and everything else? There's one comment that always sticks in my mind uh, reading some of this stuff. It was, we don't need this right now. Uh, we don't know how far the Blackhawks, <clears throat> this is the furthest the Blackhawks have been, and we're trying to win a Stanley Cup. That, I don't that know. Was- I, I don't remember who said it. I think it was one of the executives. It, it was no, it was Joel Quenville. I think the 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 quote that I, I, I tweeted in the uh, here, I'll I'll pull that up in a second, actually. Okay. Uh, but it was Joel Quenville, and it was in regard to here. I'm just trying to okay. So the the the, the tweet from Rick Westhead, who by the way was the reporter that got all this information, brought everything to the surface, and in, incredible job by Rick. Incredible, incredible work. Some of the best journalistic work we've seen in quite some time when it comes to sports. But um, the the tweet said, Bowman recalled that after learning of the incident, Quenville shook his head and said that it was hard for the team to get to where they were and they could not deal with this issue right now. Um, There wasn't reach. There was another quote that I'm thinking of. Keep going. Okay. Yeah. There was another one, which I posted right before that. 
uh, Reed Shar, who was a former uh, U.S. Uh, assistant defense attorney. Um, Shar, the tweet from Rick Westhead says, Shar writes about the meaning of Blackhawks officials. According to the director of human resources, Jim Gary said that during the meeting, Joel Quenville appeared angry and was concerned about upsetting team chemistry. That's a damning, that's like two damning quotes because, right there. Because, okay, Ugh. so how how many Stanley Cups did it take for them to eventually bring this to light? They won three da- damn cups. They never mentioned, they, they never they never did the right thing. Like this should have been taken, you should have taken care of it right away. It should have been now. And, uh, hey, and here, here to Anthony's quote, Cheval Dayoff got a letter of comm- uh, commendation too, or recommendation. Brad Aldrich got a recommendation for a high school team and went on to sexually assault a minor. How, how, when you knew this was happening in an organization to a 22 year old intern, did anyone in the right mind think that it was okay to recommend this guy to work with high schoolers, to work with minors? This guy should be in jail for the rest of his life. I know, I know that sexual predator, uh, you know, sexually predatory crimes like you know, rape and assault and stuff like that, they usually don't get life sentences. But this guy has assaulted multiple people. He is a serial sexual predator and assaulter. But again, why oh, do we need to? Is it? it should have just been reported. Go to the police. It, that is it, not. It, it, it is not your decision to to just be silent on this. Mm-hmm. This kid's life was ruined. I, I feel terrible for the victims. And and, and as a hockey fan, it, it, it's disgraceful because I, I've said this about this and I've said it on here. Hockey is the best sport. The NHL is the worst league. Worst league. And, and Steven's right. The NHL has no moral compass. He's mentioned the, the Craig McTavish, basically drunk driving and killing a woman and, and how he, you know, how he still played afterwards. Uh, Bobby Hull is another one who, funny enough, ties with the Chicago Blackhawks. Bobby Hull was cited in a news report years ago as chasing an ex-wife with a chainsaw around his house. <laughs> chainsaw. It's just, it's what? just uh, to get to get back to this. As soon as there was a report on it, it shouldn't have been a oh we'll we'll do something about it eventually. Let's just go win a Stanley Cup first. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's what's irritating about this, and if I mean, Anthony, your father what goes through your mind thinking about this. Disgust. I mean, just, just absolute disgust. I mean, it, it should have never happened, and it seems like it was swept under the rug because you know they wanted to win a championship, but uh, it's oh, totally wrong, and that's oh, why I, I think I I really hope that that after meeting with Bettman that that Quenville just does the right thing and, and, and steps down. If, if he's not willing to do that, then the league's got to take action and fire him. Cause if they, it, the Panthers do at least, but if they don't, then it's it literally, uh, you know, a slap in the face. So. Uh, and you, you're right about that. It would be a total slap in the face for them to not do anything about that in the, in the wake of this. And I, I was a huge Joel Quenville fan. Loved his work in St. Louis. Um, you know, I, I liked the blues a lot growing up. I've watched a lot of their hockey even after Wayne Gretzky left, but Joel Quenville, his resume is a Hall of Fame resume. But I, I can't see letting someone like this into the Hall of Fame after knowing what his stance was on all this and how he allowed this to be perpetrated and swept under the rug. My question is, because there was involvement from the NHLPA, this was reported to the NHLPA, Don Fair was made aware of this. All this available how- on, uh, on Twitter. Yeah, and and how much of this was being covered up by the NHL? How much did Gary Bettman know? Because if this is going to open up a whole can of worms where NHL executives knew about this, then there are a lot of people who need to be held accountable whose heads need to roll. I'm still I'm still processing everything as even when there's another sentence that's uttered about this, the the news on this. Again, number one, Joel Quenville. If you don't, if the team doesn't need it right now, it's not in your pay grade. You call the police. That's what you do. This is not your. If you, you want to be like, oh, it's not our job, or try to focus on. Da-da. No, you call the police. This is not a matter of hockey. Everybody could figure out about it. Just. Hmm. 
yeah, you yeah. don't you don't sweep something like this under the rug. This this is this is one of the biggest scandals I've seen in sports, and I I I, I think this is bigger than steroids. I, I know that the steroid scandal in baseball was huge. I know that the 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 betting scandal in baseball was huge with Pete Rose, and then the all, all, the all obviously years and years back the the black the Chicago Black Sox, if you will. Uh, with their this isn't involvement on the level, I mean, that's what the game. This is this is that's the game. This 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 is this is criminal, and it's criminal negligence that they swept this under the rug the way that they did. And this organization, it, it, you went from being a poster child of the league, winning three Stanley Cups in six seasons, being the face of the new NHL, to being an utter embarrassment and disgrace to the sport. And you know what? It, 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 and Stephen's right. Ignoring to report a crime and by doing so facilitating the perpetrator continue to make those crimes, it, that, that's complicity right there. That is 110% complicity. Not, they were complicit in allowing Aldrich to continue to do it for as long as he did. They were complicit in getting him hired by a high school team. And, and you know what? And yes, and right before we got on, I mentioned the Graham James situation to you, Mark, and how Graham yeah. James basically molested a, 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 a ton of players in junior over, I would say, like a five year span or so, maybe maybe less than that. And Anthony, when we were we were at the station, remember, we got to interview Sheldon Kennedy, who mm-hmm. was one of the players involved in that. Yeah, and I remember was, that. I a teammate of Theo Flurry's. Yeah. So, it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's also the the one that I pointed out beforehand was Penn State. Yeah. And how do you not learn from what happened there? It's criminal. Yeah. It's it's funny because this stuff continues to happen because there is a stigma in hockey and that stigma is the old boys club. And I remember I know I'm I'm switching gears just a tiny bit here but there there is relevance to what I'm saying. Back when the Tom Wilson incident happened on Twitter, Mark Mathot was tweeting about all this stuff. And he, I, I, I quote tweeted him on something and I, and I told him that, that he's not somebody that should be, you know, basically laughing at Rangers fans and talking about it because there, there is a stigma in hockey. Mark Mathot told me that there was no stigma in hockey and that I was making all that up. Well, Mark, if you're listening, you're watching, whatever, or if you ever somehow come across this, which I, I doubt you will, and I doubt you'd even acknowledge it. But guess what, Mark? There is a stigma. It's called the old boys club, and you're seeing it come to light, and it needs to end. It needs to be getting rid of. You know, it's it, it, it's 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 absolute ridic- it's absolutely ridiculous. And, and another great point from Steven here. Brendan Leipzig insults people in a private group chat, and he he's done with the NHL. Austin Matthews. He assaults a woman or harasses a woman, whatever he did. I because we don't, we still never got the full details on what he did. I think there's stuff being covered up there, but I mean, he gets Lady Bing votes, and there's nothing done to Austin Matthews. It, 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 no, the league doesn't have the league doesn't. Ha- they have standards, Stephen. They have double standards. It's what they have. So it, it, this needs to this needs to be dealt with, and it needs to be dealt with swiftly because they. There's a lot of stuff. I feel that there's going to, you're going to get more light on from more people eventually. And um, I don't know if you saw this. Um, I'm going to pull this up because I was in a, a, a group DM. Uh, Rick West had actually also tweeted tonight on sports center. We're do- joined by John Doe, the former Blackhawks player at the, the center of the team's sexual abuse scandal. He has asked us, to reveal his identity, and you will hear him speak his truth. So this player that's at the the center of all this is going to come to light, and he's going to reveal himself. And he's probably going to bring this entire organization down with him. And you know what? Good riddance. Good riddance. You wanted to sweep this up. You wanted to, put, you wanted to cover it up and sweep it under the rug. Now you're getting what you deserve. That's karma. What I'm glad about this in one way is maybe sports, I guess maybe two ways. People haven't reacted to this and tried to claim cancel culture or some bullshit like that. This, this isn't, this isn't that. 
No. This is not even close to that. No. This is something that should have been taken care of the second anyone knew about it. And hearing about different involvement of different executives, we're not comfortable about That's talking disgusting. about this either. Disgusting. It's it's uh, it, because we're going to be changing gears to be a little bit more humorous in about a few minutes. But it's just it's it's an absolute disgusting thing. And I'm also happy that from what I've seen, it's been mostly support for the player and um, condemnation for those who were involved. And it's unfortunate because, and they're just they're stepping right back into NFL territory and how just. But D. D. Ely says it right here. I mean, Patrick Kane assaulted a cabbie in Buffalo and got a slap on the wrist for it. And you, you're right. There, there's just there, – there's no consistency in anything that's done here. And I, I, I said this before, and and Stephen just bringing it up again. I, I, I said to you earlier on, right before we got on, Mark, what did I say? First round draft picks. First, first round picks for five years, and how much in, did I say in cash? 50 uh, like 10, million. No, 50 million, I think you said. You said a lot. 50 million. Yeah, start I hitting. I know that won't happen, but start yeah. hitting them where it hurts and send a goddamn message. Send a message. Stop this shit. It's yeah. awful. And it continues to perpetrate because the NHL is easy on them. It's easy. Oh, well, oh, you're a first time offender. We're just going to you know, tap you on the wrist. No big deal there. That's all. We're just going to give you a little tap. Oh, here, let's get the let's get the ruler. Let's oh, we'll tap you. That's it. Nothing. Hey, Nothing. Anthony, I'm just going to go rapid fire with you on 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 a lot of on just some of the greats of all time. We ever hear uh, Wayne Gretzky misbehaving? No. Gordy Howe misbehaving? No. Ra oh, Bob Yor misbehaving? Mark Messier? I mean, yes, we had. There's the incident with Dennis Podfin. Haven't heard anything else about him. Brian Trottier, no problem. Mike Bossy, no problem. We could go. We could go through the long list, and of course, the great Roger Bear, who just departed us this year. Those are the players. Oh, those are the players you should try to emulate, and the try to class the class you should try to have. Yeah. Organizations. The next time anything that happens with this, don't mince words. Don't think about other things except picking up the phone and calling the cops. Yeah, and 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 another one from Stephen, who's. On the mark today. Uh, yeah, sorry. I used it. I know. <laughs> Steven can use it. Uh, uh, yeah. but That boy, Steven, if, in the house. If, if you don't punish the people when they're breaking the rules, you're just – you're sending a message that it's yeah. okay. And and, yeah. and you're complicit in that because you're encouraging it, basically. It's all it's all about – it's all about culture, too. You know, you have, you have to have that culture of, 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 do, of always doing the right thing. Um, and clearly Chicago didn't have that. I mean, could, could you imagine if that ha if that – Happened under under Lou's watch. Uh, well, it wouldn't. Yeah, Lou. Yeah. Lou it wouldn't well, happen under Barry's watch either. No, you, you saw what happened with uh, Bodie Wild in refusing to get unvaccinated. You think Lou would have said okay to that? No, Lou. Lou. Lou would have. Lou would have nipped this at the bud. Lou. I'm, and, not, and, I'm not touching that one. <laughs> yeah, I know you're not touching that. That's fine. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get into that. But it, <laughs> right. it, it, I'm just saying, Lou takes action on things and he doesn't let them get out of hand like the, the same thing i said with the tony d'angelo incident if you have better leadership if you have a better coach a situation like that doesn't blow up the way that it did no nope. if there was a better leader at hand and a better group that would have sat down and addressed the situation then we wouldn't be talking about this now it no. would have been a headline that would have gotten a certain amount of tension back then and Brad Aldrich would have been, you know, probably thrown in jail and that would have been good. And, yeah. and, and he would have never had a chance to sexually assault or abuse anybody else. 